Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome to my video today, you guys. This video and blog post is for a very special blog hop that I am a part of, and it is the um, Thailand Incentive Trip Blog Hop. This blog hop is for demonstrators who earned the Thailand trip. So I'm not going to Thailand. I'm a big chicken when it comes to traveling outside the United States. Um, that would be a really long flight, a really long trip. And I have little kids, and to be honest, I'm just scared to death to do it. So I'm not going to Thailand, but I did earn the trip. So I'm so excited to be hopping with these wonderful ladies. You'll want to go over to my um, blog post by just coming right up here, clicking right here or down in the YouTube description, and you're going to find all the other links to um, hop to all the different blogs and see all the different projects. So this month, the theme is... Um, fall inspired or nature inspired. I guess it's nature inspired, but then I immediately think of fall because here um, where we're at, we're having fall. So um, I love fall. I love all the colors of fall. I love um, just the trees and the, the way everything changes. And it's the happiest time for me is in fall. And I was told recently that I probably should live back east because that is where it is super pretty. And I just love the colors back there. And um, so it was funny. They said, you probably are meant to live back east. But I live here in California where there's really not a change to the season. So a few things I'm starting with here. I'm starting with some of this designer paper. This has a copper foiling to it. It's the fall paper in our holiday catalog, okay? So the other thing that I'm using is my paper pumpkin kit, and you would have seen some cards that I did yesterday on my blog and on my YouTube channel. I did some cards using the um, paper pumpkin uh, set, and I love this set, and particularly I loved these leaves. So I had a bunch of these left over because you punch these leaves out and then you do a shaker card um, with the pieces that you punched out. But I thought these leaves, I have to do something with them. So what I did is I grabbed my copper embossing powder and I embossed the whole leaf with embossing powder. It was kind of messy, it got everywhere. I didn't do that part on camera just because it was so messy, but basically I just smashed the leaf down in Versamark and then I dumped it in my embossing powder. You can see there's some on the back. And then I picked it up very carefully. You can see a couple places where I smudged, like right on that one, it kind of got smudged. Um, but then I just heat set it and I was left with these beautiful leaves. So then the other piece I'm using from my paper pumpkin kit is this acetate. It's hard to see on camera here, but this acetate was from the paper pumpkin kit. I did a couple different things with my paper pumpkin kit. If you want to check that out, you can click right up here. There'll be a card where you can click that, um, but I wanted to use some of these other pieces. So what I did is I took this paper right here, this designer paper, and I cut it down to four and three quarters um, long, which is what this acetate was. And it's still gonna hang over, over a little tiny bit. I'm gonna have to do some trimming, but that's okay. And then I cut this because I want this piece of acetate to go right in the middle. So there's no real technical way to do this, okay? And we're still gonna do some trimming and whatnot, but what I like to do is use my trimmer. So then I set this piece at four and a quarter because that is clearly what my card is gonna be. It's gonna, well, it's gonna be four actually because I'm trimming some of it down. So then this piece is gonna go here and then this piece is gonna go in the middle. So I can still trim some of this off because I want a good amount of this acetate. So we'll just put some adhesive here on the back. We're gonna put this at four and we're gonna lay the acetate down. I know it's really hard to see. I'll probably speed through this, but just so you understand what I'm doing and then I'm sliding the acetate under here. to be four inches by five and a quarter. So I am gonna trim some of that off and you can see that I'm trimming 
it off after I've put all the acetate together and the designer paper. And this way everything is nice and straight and even and you can't tell if I've messed up or anything, okay? So that's how you create this little piece. It creates this panel and then you have the acetate right in there and then we're gonna do a little something with this. So the next few pieces that I have, I have a piece of very vanilla card stock. So this is gonna be my card base. And then I have some of this designer paper. It's from that same designer stack. And it's this really pretty like mint macaroon um, color. And then I have my panel that I showed you that I created. And then what I've done is I've just put foam everywhere on the back of this, except where the piece of acetate so is. So now you just decide where you want your panel if you want it on this side or if you want it on this side. I want mine on this side and because I trimmed that down to four and a quarter or I'm sorry four by five and a quarter I'm gonna have a nice border that's gonna wrap around the card okay. So now what I can do is I can take my copper leaves that I embossed and we're gonna lay them on here. These are my two favorites. There's another design of leaf. It's this shape right here, but I really like these two shapes. And then what I've done is I've just taken some mint macaroon cardstock. I've stamped thank you on there just from that same stamp set just because it was on my desk. So what I like to do is use my grid mat down here to line this up. I've left it really long so I could play around with where it is I'm gonna go on here, it says thank you, that is stamped in early espresso. We'll flip this over to trim it. Make it nice and even with that card. And then we'll just use dimensionals on the back of these. So you can see that I didn't smash anything down yet. I just took those dimensionals off and then I set it on the card. And this way I can fiddle around with them and change where they're placed until I get them right where I want them. Once I do that, I can just press them down and then that is my card. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this card. Make sure you head over to my website so you can hop to all the other blogs and check out all the great projects. This is for the um, Thailand Incentive Trip Blog Hop. So thank you guys so much and I will chat with you guys later this week.